You gotta decide whether you're a wolf or a sheep. Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? All right. Well, today's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I do love Sundays. You know what I'm saying? I like Sundays for a number of reasons. Um, nice day today. Uh, sun's out. That's for one. And driving is not a pain on Sundays. So... Alright, uh, it's early. Uh, start this video off a little early today. Uh, I do have a pre plan that picks up at 12 noon. It's probably going to Illinois. So if I can get that there today, that'll be another 500 mile run added on to my paycheck this week. So hey, check this out. Right now I'm up in Ohio and. Uh, and I was thinking on my way here because I, you know, went on my Facebook page and I came across a whole bunch of people talking about uh, lease purchasing, owner operators, uh, lease drivers, contract drivers, so forth and so on. And it got me to thinking about what I always used to say about for the new drivers that's coming out here you know they they mindset is hey i i want to i want to make the bit money i want to get out here and and make the bit money and all like that and and the company always say hey we got lease purchase uh programs for you but see the problem is they really don't explain to you guys how the lease purchase works that's what I am going to try to explain. I've been in the game for for a while now, and I came across a whole bunch of stuff that I have learned through my experience in trucking. And I and I like to share a lot of it with you guys, especially for the new drivers that's coming out here, because it's a lot of you guys coming, man. I mean, there's a lot of you guys graduating out of school, you know, a lot of you guys going through the through the truck company schools and all like that. So you guys got tools now to, you know, go come here on YouTube and watch a trucker like myself or any other truckers that's out there that's doing trucking videos, uh, you know, so you guys can get some, I guess, some advice I guess now that I got some time to kill because like I said I don't have to be at my uh, I don't have to be at the shipper until 12 and I got plenty of time to get there I thought I'd just take this time out to uh, to give you my thoughts on uh, on you know becoming the owner operator and I'm gonna have to take some cues from my phone because I written I written some of the stuff that I need to remember down. Before you guys get into owner operators or lease purchase or independent contractors, you guys gotta understand that this is a business. You know, that's just not a truck for, you know, just driving around because why would you wanna, why would you wanna buy a truck why would you want to buy a truck just to just to drive around, you know, for your personal vehicle? You buy a truck to make money. You buy a truck to get in the business of having said truck make you money. All right. But see, before you get into that, you need to you need to know a little bit of the basics. All right. Just a little, you know, not not that much because. A lot of guys that jumps in the lease purchase or 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 becoming the owner operator 
some of them just jump in cold feet and they get in a lot of trouble. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they go broke real quick if you don't know the basics. The number one setback in becoming of a, a, a owner operator that I see, you know what I'm saying? And this, listen, this is just my opinion. So if some of the guys that's already successful at, at owner operator or at least purchase, please let me know in the comments below. Let's, let's make sure that your success is is well documented so that the other people behind you can come in and learn from it. The problem is, well, owner operator is, from what I see, is the lack of business knowledge. Now, listen, the lack of the business, all right? A lot of you guys is just on the outside looking in. You, you on the outside saying, hey, these owner operators, they making money. They making, they making tens of thousands of dollars. And they like, they like looking at that like, oh, okay, well, that's what I need to go to make some money. Well, quite as a kelp, yeah, it is where you need to go to get make some money, but you gotta realize that all the stuff you see on the outside is not roses to the guys that's actually doing it on the inside. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff you gotta consider when going owner-operator. It is imperative that one knows and understand the business, all right? Now, you gotta understand the business. Once you understand it, then that's where the money will come. You see what I'm saying? Because if you don't understand what you're doing out here, then there's gonna be a lot of problems for you, all right? There's gonna be a lot of problems money-wise, money, money -wise, there's gonna be a lot of problems for you personal-wise. It's just gonna be a lot of problems, but you gotta understand the business for, you know, for what you wanna get into. Listen, just because you work at Walmart, McDonald's, Burger King, you know, Hell, I'm even going to say a casino. That's where I'm at right now, by the way. Anyway, just because you work at all that stuff, at all that stuff, doesn't qualify you to own and operate said stuff, all right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys get in there, they be like, yeah, I, I can do what you do. But you don't know what, what, what the owners actually go through while owning the business. It's like I say, you don't know what they go through. You you only looking at it from the outside and say, oh man, I could do this, I could do that. Look at all the money they making. I can make that money too. But you, you, you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? What they had to go through in order to get the position or truck in this matter, where they at? You, you wanna, the goal is, you, you want to get from working from up under somebody. And you want to start working for yourself. But let me, let me, let me, let me break this down for you for a second. Let me, let me get my thought together. Because if you go on an operator in a truck and they say that the truck is yours, that's, that might be true, but quiet as it kept, you're still not an owner operator. You just own your truck. You still work for the company that's giving you the freight. Let that sink in for a minute, all right? A lot of guys will come out here and say, yeah, I own my own truck. I'm an owner operator, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, but, but think about it. If you only pulling for the company that you're least purchasing the truck from and you can't pull from nobody, I mean, and you can't pull from nowhere else, you're still working for that company. 
Now, maybe, I, you know, maybe I'm just overthinking. All right. I, I mean, I don't want to turn around and just say, hey, you're you're a glorified company person. I don't want to say that. I really don't. I really don't want to say that. I, what I want to say is, is that you own your truck and you have your own accord. And what I mean by that is you, you should have your own accord. So you should be able to own a truck and pull for whoever you want to pull for. You see what I'm saying? Let's say U.S. Express. You know, you, you pull in for U.S. Express. But let's say the next day you want to pull for Pam or Snyder or anybody else. Being an owner operator, you should be able to do that. You see what I'm saying? Let's say one week you'll do that. You'll pull for U.S. Express and be like, yeah, I made made some money, you know, made some money with U.S. Express, but I want to see what Snyder got for me next week. You see what I'm saying? So we get next week, you go with Snyder. But unfortunately, you can't go with Snyder because you're locked in with U.S. Express. Think about it. I mean, just let that sink in for a minute. I mean, you're supposed to be an owner-operator, so technically you're supposed to do and pull for whoever you want to, right? Just let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. But I'm, listen, this is just my opinion, all right? So, you know, just take that and run with it. But listen, before I finish up this video, because I, I really don't want to make it too long, you know, because you guys know how I am when I when I start making my videos. I, I just keep going on and on and on and on. See how it is? See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? In the long run, I encourage all who wants to succeed in this trucking game, you know, becoming a lease purchaser or owner operator or contra independent contractor, I encourage all of you guys, all of you guys that want to succeed to take some business classes, all right? Business and financial classes, all right? And it's easy to do, all right? I mean, you guys have a tablet, right? Y'all have a, some of you guys out here do have computers, trust me. If you don't have a computer, you're gonna be freaking bored, <laughs> okay? So at least at least get a cheap computer. You can get a cheap computer at Walmart. But you guys could get some online classes. Alright. And once y'all get the uh once you get the online classes, y'all can take the time because we have plenty of it out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sitting at a shipper, receiver, truck stop. You got time to, to go and do some online classes. Do some business and finance, financial online classes, all right? With that said, if you do want to get into the, the owner-operator part of trucking, and let's say you didn't go through classes to, you know, get the basics, which I highly suggest you do, at least hire some people that you can trust, all right? You need to you, you need to find some people out here that you can trust that can help you succeed on the owner operation side. These these basketball players and stuff like that, they got people in the background that's doing all of their financials and all like that. As an owner operator, that's what you need. You need somebody in the background if you don't know how to do it yourself. You need somebody that you can trust in the background taking care of your paperwork and all that other good stuff because it's already stressful enough just being out here driving on these interstates you need the people with the knowledge that can help you succeed listen owning a truck is a business once you go on the other side of the fence and own the truck you gotta realize that it is a business. You can lose everything if you're not doing it the right way. You can lose your ass out here. It'll kill you just that quick. 
So if you're on the outside looking in and you want to jump on the other side and, you know, make that change, hey, I'm not, I, hey, listen, go for it. But before you go for it, just make sure you know that you get the people and the things in place that you need to succeed. No, what are you waiting for?